Hello everyone, my name is Draconic Rose. Welcome back to another episode of Stardew Valley. Today we have a very neutral look and the traveling merchant is in town. So we can check the weather report which tells us it's going to be clear and sunny for the egg festival which means today we must get as much money as we can. So we now have access to the deluxe fishing rod and bait which we will get after the festival. Uh, and some cookies, which are great. And of course, the warning about the egg festival. So you know how it goes. We are going to be watering everything. And uh, we'll see you afterwards. And there we go. Everything is watered, except for Nardo's bowl. Yeah, right now. And all that's left for us is to check out what we can do today. So... Uh, there's nothing uh, posted in the help wanted. And uh, there we go. And the egg festival is tomorrow. And afterwards, it is a Haley's birthday. Let's just see um, if I go into my socials and I find Haley. Haley. There she is. And I use my handy dandy moth. No, it does not want to be used. Interesting. Uh, well, that's a bug. I can't see what she likes, but I guess I will see it next episode. Uh, she probably likes flowers, um, of which we have a few. So, there's that. Need to put in a parsnip for the spring crops. And I think... There's the... Quality bundle, craft room. Uh, oh, it looks like we don't get the quality bundle. No, they have to have it. Quality crops bundle, there we go. So, five golden parsnips, of which we have absolutely none. We do have quite a few to plant, though, but um, we need the sap. So I'm starting to think that perhaps today we are going to visit the traveling merchant, do our round... Um, around the forest, give Leah her driftwood and uh, gather a bunch of wood. Maybe fish if we have the time. Uh, we'll, we'll see. That is not how I want things organized. That's fine, whatever. Uh, let me leave my watering can. There's no point bringing it. So. Why is it not doing the thing? Okay. Alright, so let's go uh, to deliver the parsnip first and then we'll uh, head on down. There we go, that's our parsnip delivery. Now we're going to need a green bean and a cauliflower, both of which we have growing. We just need to wait for them to finish doing that. Unfortunately, Leah is in her cottage. So we'll have to wait until she comes out. Get some bug meat. Five tulips for 900. That's a little bit better. I'm putting tomato, gave carrot, link of. Uh, eggplant parmesan. Not a bad thing to go when you go to the mines. I'll be honest. And of course, the rare seed, which uh, we should plant in fall, but I don't want to spend any money on it right now, because, well, it is the egg festival tomorrow, and we need all that money for the delicious, delicious strawberries. So that's what we will save it for. Grab some more forage along the way. And keep on going. Ooh, can I reach the other side in time for those bubbles? I think it's too far from the shore anyway. For my current skill level. That's a shame. But we have a bunch of spring onions to get, so... I'm not too fussed about it. Okay, so it doesn't seem like Leia has decided to get out of her cottage quite yet. And I'm pretty sure not good friends enough to go in, so... We will go to plan B, or 
task D something and start cutting up trees. I, I don't know why I started with those logs. I don't want to do that with the sap. Um, I suppose I will time lapse this, so enjoy it. you might be wondering why am i cutting down the trees the tree stumps uh that is because if you don't do that the trees will not regrow even though it's not very good for our energy economy uh it is what it is it's better for us to cut down the tree stumps if we want some more wood down the line i suppose we could plant our own trees but the cinder sap forest is so handy in that regard anyways i don't think that we should uh, neglect to maintain it Good lord i'm gonna have to eat so many spring so, leah also finally moved from her cottage and she is now at the saloon we're gonna go there and give her the driftwood that we are Saving for her. I am sure she will appreciate it. Hi, oh, hey, Penny. You dig in the dirt, you can find some interesting things. Yes, I know. Clay and artifacts and even books. Uh, wouldn't like to see the restoration process on those. <laughs> God, my voice is kind of husky today, isn't it? Hello. Only gonna get worse, baby. Oh. Hello, Leah. Have some uh, driftwood. This is a really nice gift. Thank you. You are very welcome. The fresh air of this valley is good for body and mind. And I'm gonna talk to everyone because everyone is here and that is massive gains with part of the community. Yeah, though I'm not paying much attention to the dialogue. I'm working hard all week. A little relaxation. Feeling salty fish all day makes me real thirsty. Yeah, Fridays is when everyone comes to the saloon. And with this mod, it's like massive gains. Uh, but this this dialogue is like super repeated. I come tomorrow. Yeah, Abigail, I will do my best to kick your ass. I want my straw hat. Anyhow, my bright. And I think we also get 2k. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Either way, it's good to have the Egg Festival prize money. Hey, Glint, you're coming in a little late. That's okay. Now, we got a bunch of sap, but I do want more. However, I am going to use the last of my effort to help clear out the farm a little bit by uh, cutting the trees in there instead of in the cinder sap forest so it's a lot easier to cut them down in the cinder sap because you know they're all clustered together yeah i think that's that's what i'm looking for and there's not too many branches and stuff in the way we are going to win the day with so much sap which to me is rather great oh i flew too near the sun oh well that's okay we should probably get a level up tonight and hopefully that will fix our energy problem just I want to eat spring onion. But we have a good bit of sap, which means tomorrow we will fertilize everything 
properly. Both the parsnips and the strawberries. I'm more concerned about fertilizing the parsnips because, you know, parsnips. Well, let's put everything in there. Literally everything. Let's craft a few field snacks because those are good for the 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 old energy. And sure, we can craft a few tappers, so might as well. If we could get three, yes we can. Nice. And uh how does that affect our copper bars? Eh, almost no effect. So I think these two are different trees, so let's put the tapper here and a tapper there, and now I need a pine tree. There's one over here. This will obviously be moved at some point, but we should start collecting that sap as soon as possible. could say that we should start collecting it ASAP. <laughs> uh, I killed myself. Anyway, let's get the, those crab pots in the ocean. I'll probably only get this trash at first, so we won't be too concerned. Uh, we can turn the the, the bug meat, some of it, anyway, into bait so that we can fill the the things, the crab pots. Uh, that'll be good. And I think that's uh, our tasks for today. So tomorrow we will have the flower festival and that means we are going to buy many strawberries and we will put them in the ground with our parsnips. So let's go to sleep and see <laughs> the money we did not make. Uh, wow, it even skipped the the zero, zero gold made. That's interesting. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode and well, like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, for my start you of course, and if you'd like to support the channel there is a link to Patreon and Ko-Fi down below. But until next time, please remember that here are there be dragons. Thank you so much to my patrons for making this channel possible. Click the Patreon logo to become one of these fine folk, and if you enjoyed the video here are some more YouTube things you would like. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe, have a lovely day, and I'll see you next time.